All right, so I'm going to be honest. I just busted my ass making a lightsaber combat forms video, explained video on it in a rankings just to get hit with the news that Immortal Hulk 50 dropped and the one above all is back in comics. This is major news. So real quick, if you like major comic news updates and like scaling updates and whatnot, smash the like button hit subscribe notification bell we're on our way to 20k as the villain tremites so join the journey and i appreciate all the love but let's talk about this because it's highly controversial al ewing just hit us with a hook shot from the three-point line it's crazy so i'm not going to review the entire issue i'm just going to review the implications at the end and what it all means with this appearance of the one above all so Right off the bat, I'm going to go with something controversial. It appears to me, and especially because Donny Cates has taken over, and Donny Cates likes to go off on wild-ass stories, uh, for better or worse. I don't like it, but a lot of people like it. But anyways, it seems Hulk in the mantle of Hulk is being turned into, like, the Marvel's equivalent of a Spectre-like status. And this message, to me, seemed to get hammered home when the one above all actually appears. So, the one below all is who shows up. And there's a couple former Hulks, including uh, Joe Fixit Hulk. They're like, yo, damn that. We're pulling up on Toba. He's been talking greasy. He's been messing with our lives. It's time we put paws on him, right? So, to uh, Toba shows up. And he's like in the form of this massive floating Hulk ish like face right and hulk's like yo i'm sick of you not really appearing to us show us your true face and because toba was spitting bars but those bars were too biblical and they were going over hulk's head so hulk was like cut that shit out you know hulk doesn't like that stuff and was like yo show us your real face so toba says fine i'll show you what i really look like and he transforms what she transform into the glowing golden form of the one above all yeah it appears toba is confirmed by al ewing in this issue to be like the other side of the coin to the one above all now while this was pretty cool to see and i can i bet hulk fans loved this because of the way it tied together but it's putting uh the, the one above all scaling in jeopardy my guy because now he's front lines with it um revealing himself to be like toba level um so if toba gets folded actually defeated at any point we're gonna have to sit down and talk about the one above all scaling because it might be compromised <laughs> but but anyways this was a crazy reveal um in terms of how it scales to hulk what's interesting is if you read the end of issue 50 in which al ewing addresses all the readers who have questions and addresses some of the art and kind of extrapolates upon the work in the book um he refers to an exchange between the one above all and hulk in which he explicitly states hulk could never actually do anything to either toba or the one above all so that kind of gets rid of the idea that he literally scales to them because he doesn't what it seems to be and it states when he was arguing he wasn't banner or anything or the hulk we typically know he was actually showing the anger of Job. He was showing like biblical archetypal anger, just like he's capable of showing biblical archetypal strength and mercy. This is crazy. Obviously the narrative um, implications going on now for Hulk from now on, at least the immortal version or whatever. Um, and it seems to be he's passing it off to Donnie Cates to now take over writing the hulk mantle so i believe this will uh stay uh it gives a lot of range of potential power to hulk we could now see hulk easily fighting cosmic beings and i don't think that's too far-fetched because cosmic like cosmic thor is a thing currently it's being written by donny cates donny cates is already uh working on surfer he's shown um black surfer and whatnot and we know how crazy his scaling gets so kate's obviously is dabbling in the high-end scaling for these high-end avenger and avenger type figures so it's gonna get crazy 
Um, I will. I won't be shocked if we see some wild ass scaling coming from Donny Cates Hulk. So smash the like button if you want me to keep up with that run when it comes out. If it drops any crazy scaling, but what do you guys think? What do you think of the one above all appearance? Are you down for it? I know fans are going crazy online, so let me know what you guys think. It's always a big deal to see the one above all uh, appear. So obviously that was dope for me to see. And Al Ewing at the end, uh, just based on his notes, it seems like he was happy writing this and it seems like he's concluded it to himself his take on the hulk mantle so let me know what you guys think if you want to see this biblical archetypal theme continued and marvel for the hulk i'm not opposed to it and i expect it to happen so it is what it is but thank you guys for watching this was just a short review video um let me know what you guys think and i will see y'all later peace